going on guys my name is Anthony or Big B stats and welcome back to another Minecraft beta showcase video for you guys here today and today I'm going to be going over uh, the brand new beta uh, that was released on the Minecraft 1.14 update which is introducing pandas and also uh, the crossbow also, if you can, drop the video, like, and share it. It is much appreciated and shows your support for the channel. So we did do a video covering the last, uh, whenever the beta first came out. The features like with pandas first being introduced, uh, kind of our first impressions, what we thought of it, and some of the features that the panda, uh, that you can do uh, with the panda. So in this beta, in this uh, actual version, uh, we now have crossbows uh, now. So if you don't know what crossbow is, I'm going to be going over it, also testing some stuff out, kind of giving you my first impressions as well. Of this and also mis mentioning some other things that is added uh, in this uh, particular uh, beta right now so first off I'll start by talking off uh, I'll start by talking with the the new die so we definitely have different die here so here we have a white die uh, so if you don't know what white die is like before you would use like bone meal but you can now use white die we also have like brown die it looks kind of different and new uh, we also have blue dye which again we would use like lapis and things like that we also have black dye which black dyes uh, which we would also use ink sacks as before so this is just some some new dye that is being introduced uh, which I think that's very cool and also uh, kind of like long overdue uh, I believe so uh, there we have it with the dyes uh, so so if you can if you do play the beta make sure you check out the dyes yourself uh, but let's talk about the crossbow I really want to cover the crossbow because that that definitely is probably uh, the one thing I'm really really excited about you guys know I love PvP and I'm kind of interested to see uh, how this crossbow is going to be so what do we know about the crossbow we know that the crossbow has like a loading time so as you can see I have a crossbow in my hand now and if I was to hold LT so let's hold LT and it kind of like loads it and now it's it's loaded so I'm not holding LT right now like I am no longer uh, like I, I have nothing no control over right now it's just kind of like this is how it is I wonder if you can actually you can still sprint and everything like this so it's now loaded and all you have to do is press LT again which is what you would use to almost you know the same you know button you would use to fire your arrow so you, I would just press LT now and I shoot the arrow now there's a lot of things you can do with this crossbow again that's just shooting one arrow I do like the loading animation I think that's very cool I wonder how it is if you cancel it okay so you can cancel it so you got to make sure you hold it all the way uh, until it actually gets loaded completely so yeah let's just shoot that up in the air but there are some some enchantments along with uh, the crossbow so we have three enchantments that's been added we have the quick charge now these have different levels to it this is quick charge three uh, we got piercing four and we also have multi-shot one so let's go ahead and add these enchantments uh, to the crossbow so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go add crossbow and we're gonna add quick charge to this so there we go so we got one quick charge I'll put that next to that and let's go ahead and put a piercing on this one there we go and we're gonna go ahead and take this last crossbow and put the other enchantment on it which is multi shot so now we have quick charge piercing and multi shot um, again things to test out uh, will this take you know potion arrows like tipped arrows which is something I, I need to also try out too also fireworks as well like you should be able to shoot fireworks from this as well so I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself some fireworks here um, and this is gonna be very cool to actually see like in combat uh, because if, if it's gonna weigh out to be a little bit better or or if it's stronger uh, then the uh, wait let's see what this was here all right so we have our crossbows enchanted we also have fireworks and we have uh, just a tipped arrow just to see exactly how this is gonna play out now the thing is is that I'm very curious to see again in battle uh, is this crossbow gonna be more valuable than a regular bow and I think by the perks that it has has now especially with the enchantments it's definitely uh, better I think bow is gonna become just the standard and the crossbow is gonna be very good I'm also gonna teach you guys how to craft this up for now so yeah let's go ahead and try this out so right now we have the quick charge so let's see how this quick charge is that was very quick so yeah there's a quick charge again you can see and you can also shoot tipped arrows that's very cool so there's the quick charge again super quick 
That's very quick. Of course you can't fire as, but the good thing is, is that once you load it, it's pretty much at max shot. So like things like with the bow, like you can spam the bow, but it, it would go like not full range. But here it's like you can go like almost full range when you already like load it up. So uh, that's one thing I like about the crossbow already is that again, you can just load it once and then, you know, let's just say you want to hit something back there. You don't really have to charge up any longer and try and you know shoot it so that that's one thing i really like about that let's go ahead and try the piercing uh shot here which i'm curious to see what the piercing is gonna do i wish i could test like the damage let's see i'm sorry panda and this is just regular low so that's piercing i gave him a regen so he should be fine actually um we'll put that in our offhand i think it probably still let's try okay that actually shot over I wonder what piercing actually, I wish I, I, I wish piercing, I w like what if piercing shot through things? Uh, that would be very cool if it did, but I, I don't think it does. I think piercing probably will just give you more damage, most likely. Uh, so that's piercing right there. Uh, a little hard to test out, but uh, let's go ahead and I should probably also just get rid of these, but all right, let's try this out. Let's 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 see how the fireworks actually work out. Now let's try multi shot first. Let's try multi shot. See exactly how multi shot works. So here's multi shot. So if I was to hold LT and I shoot, oh, I shoot three arrows. Check that out. But I think it only uses. I think it only uses one. If I'm not mistaken, I know I'm in creative, but let's see. I think it only uses one. So if I were to shoot these. Says I pick. It looked like I picked up three, um, but I believe you only pick up one because then that would be kind of a glitch. Let's say you shoot like one arrow and then you pick up three. But that's cool. I think it's yeah. I think this definitely only counts for one arrow. That's that's amazing. That is so cool. So there you have it. So that's the multi shot. So again, you can shoot three arrows. And of course, I didn't hit any of them. But if you line, you know, if you have mobs lined up, you know, three in front of you, you could definitely uh, shoot them. So uh, there's the multi shot, there's the piercing, and there's of course uh, the quick charge. Uh, let's see how the fireworks work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the firework in our offhand, and we're going to. Woo! <laughs> that is awesome. That is so cool. So you can also shoot fireworks. That's amazing. That is so cool, the fact that you can shoot fireworks. And again, that's just multi-shot. Here's a quick shot, and there you go. So I guess if, yeah, if you put a firework in your offhand, you're able to to shoot uh, this too. So uh, that's very good. So again, three different type of enchantments. Uh, also, the new dies uh, as well. And of course, the crossbow. Now there has been some changes uh, with the pandas. Also scaffolding, I, I believe, burns now in lava. And I think scaffolding also has like a, a new sound to it too. So let's go ahead and check that out. So, yep, so it has a sound as it's placing. This is so cool. I can't wait to see this also on builds when, you know, building is, you know, when you're building something and you use this and you have this kind of built up to get around and to kind of build things. It looks like things are under kind of construction. Uh, so that's gonna be uh, very cool uh, looking, I believe. Uh, so yeah, there is that. And again, I believe it burns in lava. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some lava and just also test this out. Not saying I, you know, I wanna see this burn. It's not even fully in the game yet and I'm already burning it. But let's check. Oh. <laughs> I felt like a rabbit there. All right, up oh. and place this here. And let's go ahead and wait, let's actually break this. There we go. And there you go. So there you have it. Scaffolding kind of now burns in lava, um, which it should at least. Yeah, definitely catches. I mean, it is it is wood too. So so there you have it. Um, there's also some changes with the pandas too, which I'll briefly go over. So let's go ahead and spawn in the pandas. Um, no one's ever complained about spawning in pandas. Gotta love the pandas. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab some bamboo uh, here too. I should also clear my inventory, but let's see. Let's remove these. And we'll go ahead and grab some bamboo. So let's go ahead and spawn in a panda. Uh, so you can now kind of feed it like off your hand. So you can press LT and feed it. So you don't have to actually just drop it uh, to give it to the panda. So again, uh, we talked about that before. Like I thought it was a cool feature that you can kind of just throw it down and they can pick it up. But you can also again press LT and give it to them too. So um, 
I thought that was very cool. But again, there's also some more behavioral uh, features uh, with the pandas. Uh, they've also increased the damage, I believe, that the pandas, like aggressive pandas, do to you, uh, which is also uh, kind of uh, something to kind of look out for. But uh, there you have it, you guys. That's pretty much it, everything I really wanted to cover. Um, if you know any secret features, do let me know. Uh, however, again, what do you guys think of the crossbow? Uh, do you think it, right now it's better than the bow and arrow? I would have to say yes. I mean, especially with the enchantments that it has. Um, I think it's definitely going to be valuable. I mean, it's just, it's it's amazing. And it's only going to get better. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, remember to leave a like and share it. Also, feel free to subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!